has a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm. He's always hard at work or play. If Farmer Fee's got a problem or a job to be done, it's Tractor Tom that saves the day. It's Tractor Tom, 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 what would we do without you? Fix us a Tom, 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 hurry, we couldn't do it without you. The next morning, it was time for the farm machines to get home to Spring Hill Farm. Their gear was packed, and they began to take the journey back to Wedge Avenue. Would you believe it when we find our shortcut to home fee? asked Tom. I would when I see it with my own eyes, Tom. I don't see why your shortcut in the woods would take you quickly, said Fee. We can't give you to Devonport because it's a long way, said Buzz. I was sleeping for the whole journey, said Rev. I don't like slow travels. Right, said Matt. Lead the way, Tom. You and Buzz know the way. One by one, they left Forest Hill Farm. As they went on the main road, Buzz remembered Jackson's storm. Do you know Jackson's storm, Fee? He asked the farmer. No, Buzz. Why? On my way to Tala, I encountered him, and he wanted to know why lightning is not out of the race. Buzz explained the story. I tackled him with putting a rock on the road, and he got his engine damaged. I hope he doesn't get me for it. I don't know if we would see him, said Tom. He could have his engine mended ages ago. If that's the case of him not liking your new friends, that's his problem he can't get out of, said Fee. Fancy you tackling a bully on your journey. They went through Hobart Town, crossing over the bridge. <coughs> Past the rally in Cambridge, where Buzz did his lessons. Then into Sorrel. That shed's empty, said Buzz. Someone else might need it. I remember coming to that Savo shop, said Fee. I didn't notice that here before, said Matt. They were about to continue on when Buzz picked up something black in the shed. The others saw it too. There he is, said Buzz. Now do you see why we don't want to see him again, Fee? If he doesn't get an explanation from me about why lightning's still in the race, he'll bully me and won't stop it. A good thing you told us, said Fee. I don't hold with bully cars picking on you. Let's get him locked in. Tom 
quietly sneaked up to the door of the shed, found a latch working, and used it to lock Jackson in. Then he and the rest left Sorrel. It was an hour till they came to Dun Alley, where sunshine was docked the day before. As explained to Matt and Fee about the bridge turning for anyone in the river. Interesting, said Matt. Australia has its different star bridge. We'll cross it now. There isn't a boat coming, said Tom. Sunshine's not here anyway, Tom. Cross one at a time. After crossing the turning bridge, they went on driving. Far near Donnelly, they came to a seaside in Madonna, and there was Sunshine, who was taking in fish. Hello, mates, said Sunshine, leaving Tasman's door. Yes, we are, said Tom. Here's our farmer, you know. It's nice to meet you, said Fee. You're busy with your fish. I'm bringing it in for that shop, said Sunshine. Why don't you guys buy something in there? You can make a welcome home party. Matt and Fee thought it a good idea. They went in the shop to buy fish and chips, then continued on again. Friendly tug, isn't he? said Rev. He surprisingly knew me when my father took me in his cab once, said Fee. But I'm not into driving a boat. Don't tell him about me that was in the water, said Tom. I remember last time when we looked after sheep. They came to Tirana, passing a chocolate factory. Tom wanted to see Sloping Maine. So did Buzz. So went to the right. At last, they reached the other seaside. Twilight was in a garden. Hello, Tom, she said. Hello, Twilight, said Tom. What brings you here with your friends? Twilight asked him. We wanted to see Sloping Main. It's new, plus we're heading to Edge Avenue to find our shortcut to the market town back in the UK, Tom explained. We locked a racing car named Jackson Storm in Sorrel, said Buzz. I don't suppose you've heard of him, have you? Jackson Storm? Oh yes, I do. 
He's been tearing up the woody road, waking me up, and I to use my magic to dump him in the water, said Twilight. He never came here again ever since. Poor car, said Rev. He's never lucky. By the way, meet Matt and Fee. They look after us. Proud, I'm sure. He's told me a lot about you two. It's nice to meet you, Twilight. You remind us about our horses, but we haven't seen one with wings and a horn, said Fee. I'm an alicorn. That's the way I was born. Can you take this to Weezy? It's a photo of when his friend met us. Oh, that's nice. He'll like it. They went off again, heading to White Beach. At last, they reached it. Here we are, the first location Tom and I came to, said Buzz. Now our shortcuts in the wood. It's easy to take, said Tom. We are clever too. A sudden humming noise made them turn around and look ahead far behind. Oh horror! Oh, bully ruly, oh, hunter runter. Far behind them, they could see Jackson Storm driving at a temporary speed, thirsting for revenge on his prey. Quick, put anything on the road, said Buzz. They found a branch that had fallen on uh -huh. the ground, uh -huh. pulled it onto Come the road, quickly. then got out of the way. Jackson saw the tree and came to a stop. Huh. No one stops me that easily, he said. Oh no you don't, said Rev. The truck popped out behind the black car, trapping him between himself and the tree. Let me go, truck! he cried. Not a hope, said Tom. Tasman Sodor has quite enough of your bullying ever since you picked on Scrambler. Don't you understand that? Scrambler, who was visiting Wedge Avenue, heard the noise and came to see what was going on. Did I hear you guys stop this race stopper who got me off the track? He asked. Yes, we have, said Buzz. I think it's time for him to be put in the museum, so you'll have to tell him. Fee had a severe word with Jackson. Things were much better before you came to Tasman Sodor. Matt will take your engine out, so you won't run again, she said. And Matt did so. Scrambler took the black car away. That's the last of him to see, said Matt. Now we can get home in peace. They came to the same wood.
common Buzz came out the day before. Buzz went inside first to find the trunk. Tom followed, and so did Rev. They looked everywhere. It's got to be here somewhere, said Rev. It's not behind this tree, said Tom. Found it, shouted Buzz. They found the entrance in the trunk of the tree. Buzz went through first. Tom and Fee second, and Matt and Rev. As they expected, they found themselves back in the shed on the other side of the market town. Oh, that was quick, said Fee. I can see a boat slow for the journey. Let's get home. I'm hungry, said Matt. They were leaving the shed when they heard a voice. Hey! What are you doing in our loading zone? It was the truck driver who was picking up other goods. Sorry, said Tom. We just came here to play hide-and-seek. But we can't with your truck around said Buzz. We'll just leave for home, said Rev, and they left. <laughs> Hide and seek indeed, whatever next, said the truck driver. They were glad to get home. What a holiday we made after months, days, weeks and years in our home, said Tom. Now we can celebrate our welcome home tea. It's a good thing we don't bring food on a plane, said Matt. That would have been awkward. I enjoyed visiting Tasman Sodor, said Buzz, especially when the farm looked familiar to this one. We go to it when next year comes, Buzz, said Fee. Let's have the fish and chips. How easy about the secret shortcut, but not to anyone else. They don't know a non fact when it exists in real life, said Rev. Except we can tell Buzz's new friends, added Tom. And that's the end of every story. Except to say, if you see any Spring Hill farm machine in your country, say hello and make them welcome so you won't forget their visit. Let's talk to Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. What would we do without you? Fix us for Tom. Tom, 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 hurry. We couldn't do it without you. We couldn't do it without you.